60,000 men gone before lunch one morning. Just how does that happen on a modern battlefield? Obviously, it was tactics versus technology. And that evolution that got us to the bloodiest days fighting in the history of modern warfare is what we're going to examine now. Though the bloodshed at the Somme was unprecedented at the time, the technology that made it possible was decades in the making. One of the biggest breakthroughs came more than 30 years before World War I broke out with the development of a cleaner burning alternative to black powder, smokeless powder. With smokeless powder, you could have higher tolerances in your mechanisms, which enabled the first fully automatic, belt-fed, water-cooled, eight millimeter machine gun in the world, the Maxim gun. The Maxim was able to work by picking up a round off of the belt, having that round inserted into the breech with the cock firing pin behind it, and when the trigger was pulled, that round forced itself back, dropping the expended case out through the bottom hole, and then picking up a new round off the top of the belt. And this gun would run until you let go of the trigger. That's what contributed to the astronomically high mortality rates in the Great War. Now, this is the light version of the Maxim machine gun of 1908. It's extremely effective, but it's also extremely heavy. The standard infantryman, he had a very effective, but very light or portable long rifle that he used as a standard infantry weapon, the bolt action rifle. And the British had one of the finest ones available on Earth at the time. This is the short magazine Lee Enfield number no. one Mark III 303 bolt action rifle. It was the mainstay of the Great War, First World War, as well as the Second World War. This gun had a distinct advantage over many of the others that were used during the First World War in the fact that it had a 10 round box magazine. It also had a pretty neat cutoff. You just slide this little door back and forth and that allows you just to fire one round at a time. The action on this is fairly short so a British infantryman could get off of what they called five rounds of the morning or evening hate fairly rapidly. But the one thing that this couldn't do is fire multiple shots in quick succession while you were in close quarter combat in an enemy trench. 